All right, that is person of the week. I said that was a fantastic job you did right there. May his soul rest in peace. Coincidentally, bro, I came to go to chop na bro angu. Even only get to meet Mike for the first time. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it was such a heartfelt moment for me because I've been able to look on a job one on one. But rest in peace. May so rest in peace. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, before we take a quick break, we want to introduce you to a gentleman known as Innocent. Innocent, I'm sure you've known him um, from KCB Lions Den, the premiers on our sister channel, KTN Home. And tonight he's here to discuss um, the issue of startups. What is it that we young people are doing wrong when it comes to startups? Innocent, Karibu Sanam. So we saw you, Kenneth got to meet you for the very first time on KCB Lions Den. Yes. Um, before we even come and discuss the issues, um, what we do wrong in pitching as young people when we pitch our businesses because yeah. there's never a bad idea yeah. um, what do you think that we are doing right and wrong within our startups as young people well first I think uh, somebody lacking that focus okay and following through the, uh, the, the passion and and really doing what they have to do to, to make it work so I think we are not more aggressive and resilient when it comes to challenges mm -hmm. and that's why we find ourselves giving up even before something kicks off. And how? How do you pitch? What is it that investors are looking for that you have to include in that pitch to make sure that your business as a startup, as a young person, graduates to the next level? Well, I don't think there's any paper you can prepare or any presentation you can prepare that can be better than you yourself. Mm -hmm. I think they're looking at investing more on the entrepreneur than even the idea because if you believe in it, if you are so passionate about it, if you're ready to go out there and make it work, mm -hmm. they're going to be sure that their money will not be lost. So mm -hmm. I think you really, really have to be very focused, mm -hmm. very strong in your presentation. Of course, when you're a newcomer in the business, yeah. there are challenges new PT up. Kitu kama financing, how do you make sure that Mazejo have kept my business? Uh, when, I start, when I'm starting my business, I'm going to start my business. 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 For us, we bootstrapped. We didn't have funding. We didn't have money just ready there for you, for you to do whatever you want to do with it. Mm -hmm. We had to do what it takes. And that's why I said you have to be ready to do whatever it takes to, to make sure that your idea scales. You, you, you're able to get, I mean, revenue from whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. So the determination, really, if you, if you are really willing to, to do whatever it takes to make your idea work, you'll find the funding. Did you, do you have to abandon your career to be able to be an entrepreneur? Because I was saying, you know, but I'm too loved to find your concerns. I love my cam and I could do business generally, like maybe real estate or market to come here. Do you have to abandon your career to be able to uh, be an entrepreneur? For me, I'd say follow your passion, follow what drives you. You don't have to sit there being a programmer if you really what you love doing is being a farmer. So, whatever you're passionate about. A degree or something you started does not have to dictate who you be. Mm -hmm. So follow your passion. You can be able to move field to field as long as that's what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Innocent, what do you think is the importance of partnership? Because we all know that you can do everything alone. Yeah. At every stage, you will need to partner. You will need to bring someone on board. Yeah. What is the importance of partnership and how has that helped you? Well, partnership is very crucial for, right. for any business to be able to scale. Because, you, of course, like you said, you can't be able to do everything yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, and that means, for example, you are doing an event. You don't have the, the, the audiovisual required, you know. So what you could consider doing is partner with somebody you already has that one to be able to facilitate you with it. That way, your life becomes easy mm -hmm. to be able to execute what you want to execute. Mm -hmm. So I think it, it, it enables you to do something that otherwise could have taken you longer to achieve if you were to do it alone. I don't think the thing with our generation that I find um, sometimes quite fascinating is that we have been termed as the microwave ge uh, generation. Of course. We like things then and then. It We're not patient to, enough. Yeah. To kitaka ikwe kuhul tena na taka ipo etu sahi. Right? Yeah. So innocent, um, where do you draw that line between, yes, being patient about my business and uh, giving it time to grow, and there's, I'm sure there's a thick line between that and okay, I need to let this go, it's clearly not working. Yeah. You know, there's gotta be a balance between that. Okay. Where, where, where is that balance? How do you know that this idea that I have, even though it's not working, I know it will work and when it's time to let go? It's really about strategy and having people around you that are able to guide you yeah. and mentor you through it. For me, I seek a lot of guidance and, and, and uh, consultation from my, my, 
my mentors. Quickly, tell us about the Founder Forum. It's an event that, you, that, that is taking place that is really bringing young entrepreneurs here in the country together. Quickly tell us all about it. And by the way, we are giving out five tickets this evening. And we just want to hear your thoughts on the issue of startups as a young person. What is it that you're doing within your businesses that you think you might need help from? We will be willing to give you five tickets, one for yourself, and you can bring four of your friends or four of your partners who you believe will really benefit. So. Innocent, really yes. quickly, what is the event about? Well, TEFO creates a platform to engage, inspire, and motivate young entrepreneurs mm -hmm. towards sustainable growth of business. Okay. So by this, we are aiming at bringing together young entrepreneurs, together with established business leaders, mm -hmm. to network, you know, share ideas, see how can we be able to scale this business from what it is to where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And as you've said, partnership. Who can you partner with to be able to, to, to grow your business? That's, that's the key thing, networking. But also, uh, can we be able to create a platform whereby young people can be able to expose their ideas, mm -hmm. be able to acquire new clientele, be able to expose that business really in a way that it wasn't. All right. And that's what TEFO is about. Innocent, thank you so much for coming on Youth Cafe.